Hello boys and girls, today I have visited a special place between Magdeburg and Leipzig, a city called Bernburg, especially the Bernburg Castle, which you can see. This beautiful castle hosts several expositions. Most interesting for me was the mineral exposition, because it's related to dwarf fortress things, you know. So at the mineral exposition there were not only minerals but also some metal ores with which I'd like to start. I have seen nice native copper, like an like ore of copper, but pretty much pure, and other ores like malachite. And then ores of iron, limonite, the dark stuff here. And this thing was probably also some form of limonite, but definitely an ore of iron, as is hematite. I saw galena, ore of lead and silver. This is a beautiful specimen. More galena on quartz. Then native silver. These hairs, <laughs> what looks like hairs, are tendrils is actually mostly pure silver. That's how native silver, one of the forms native silver can be found in. This is other silver specimen, specimens. Then I saw some native gold. This one was imported from USA and California, but this one was more local. And pyrite, which kind of looks like gold, but is not really gold. It's not an ore of anything, it's just pyrite. I saw how sphalerite looks like, especially sphalerite from, uh, from the Harz Mountains in Germany. This is some very nice sphalerite specimen with rock crystal. Then uh, I saw cinnabar, an ore of tin in real life, but actually not functioning as an ore in Dwarf Fortress. Uh, this is a rather unspectacular cinnabar specimen, but it is cinnabar nevertheless. Some sort of, uh, some ores of cobalt, I don't know whether this, this probably wasn't cobaltite, but it's rich on cobalt. Also, not an ore in Dwarf Fortress. And this, my friends, is pitch blender, uh, ore of uranium, not an ore in Dwarf Fortress, but nevertheless, I mean, this is a piece of pitch blender. The exposition also had some rocks, many forms of calcite. It can be white or orange, this is also cal calcite. It can be almost like a looks like a crystal so this is also calcite it had marble specimen gypsum quite rare to find in dwarf fortress i think and i saw that gypsum can also have a crystalline form like this i couldn't really tell it from from the um from rock crystal except for maybe the form of the crystal, but this was gypsum. Quartz, I don't really know whether quartz was a mineral or a, or a rock, because in Dwarf Fortress quartz is a rock, but things like milk quartz or smoky quartz are raw gems. But raw gems certainly were present there as well, as was like this milk quartz. Rock crystal, very nice rock crystals here. Some tiny piece of rock crystals, but nice. This one was much bigger. This was as big as a dwarf's head or dwarf's child's head. Really big one, very impressive rock crystal. This one, I think it's some form of cat's eye. Uh, the translation can be deceiving. Uh, translated to to English it says cat's eye but whether it is 
mineralogically cat's eye. I don't know really. But it could be, I think. Chrysopras, amethyst, and tourmaline, the black stuff there. And an emerald, the pale green stuff in the middle. Not local, imported from USA, but nice to see. Always nice to see an emerald. So this mineral exposition was combined or next to other expositions. Specifically, it was some um, paleontologic exposition and exposition from bronze Copper Age, Bronze Age, Medieval Times. So somewhere between the the Stone Age exposition and the Copper Age exposition, I found this robe, this cloth robe. You can see it on the left in, as it in its in its whole form, and on the right the detail of the fabric. This is how I imagine dwarven robes, cloth robes from pigtail or human robes from rope reed, something like that. At the picture of, of the whole robe, you can see on the right lower right side some sort of a spindle for spinning thread. All sorts of tools were exposed there as well, like this quern. Somewhat better querns were with a longer handle. On the, the quern on the left had its uh, wooden handle semi-anchored up there in the hole where you could somewhat more easily rotate the quern and on the right we see a quern with a iron handle anchored in the roof probably much more efficient than the previous two forms of querns and a much bigger millstone I have yet to dive into millstones and understand how they really work i don't even i can't even tell whether what we see here is the is the milling side of the millstone or whether it's the driven side of the mill, millstone more, more on that later better than millstone still is a water wheel this is of course just a model i photographed because it would be huge in real life that's how dwarves mill stuff. Um, I saw also some exceptional wood chest. Finely decorated, or I would say superiorly decorated with images. This one was probably a copper chest, judging by the green oxidization could be copper metal chest definitely superior quality i would say nicely decorated a cabinet a wooden cabinet superior wooden cabinet i would say this is how i imagine cabinets in dwarf fortress more or less and to conclude this there is a statue of a human miner a nice little statue as you can see, the miner is holding in his left hand a piece of rock, examining it. In his right hand, he holds his pick, which curiously is like a one-sided pick. It has only the pickaxe on, on, on one side, the, the metal piece pointing only to one side. Probably meant to mine in the like underground, so so he could he could swing a little bit more than than with a two-sided pickaxe i don't know but this this was typical miners pickaxe at, at this location at that time a masterful statue i would say very fine very fine statue so i enjoyed this exposition very much if you ever happen to be in bernburg take a look at it it's worth it especially if you like dwarf fortress you will see many things relevant to dwarf fortress it's worth a visit thanks for watching